everyone. Today I want to show you how to transfer student grades back and forth between classes as well as a couple other uh, few options inside Gradebook to help out once students start to move. So a common problem that I'm getting right now is students are transferring between classes or they're just now rolling to school and you already have grades in the Gradebook and now you can't seem to enter a grade for that student. Well there is a way to do that using this grade transfer. So to get in, I'm going to show you with my English 3 class. And you can see here, I have a student named Sarah that is transferred in. You can tell by the little green flag there. I have a student, Sarah, here that she is a transfer student. You can tell by the uh, green flag right there underneath her name. And a lot of times when they transfer in, you can see there's no grades there, and I don't have a way to... Um, add grades even if I were to enter scoring mode. So what I need to do is I need to transfer grades over. Now at the beginning of the year this may not work as advertised because there's no grades there but once the year gets going and students have grades put in even from other schools we should be able to get some sort of information from them. So to get started I'm going to come over here to the far left where the down arrow is at, select that and I'm going to select transfer grade. Once I've transferred grade, I'm going to mark whether we're going from uh, within the district or out of district, which in this case, they transfer from one class to the other. And I'm going to select assignment scores, and then should be able to select the class they came from and the section, and click Next. And if there are any grades that matched, I'd be able to pull those grades in and pull those over. So as you can see, at this point, um, there weren't any grades to transfer over for Sarah because the test that uh, we were grading that she had assigned before wasn't there. So my other option, if she comes, Sarah came in and she did the assignment that everyone else did, what I can do is I can clone the assignment that she's making up and just no count everyone else. So to do that, let's say it's this assignment here, the warm-up. I'm going to click on it and click Assignment Details. And when I say click on, I'm clicking the assignment header. And then over on the right side, I'm going to click Clone Assignment. We keep everything the same. Uh, you may choose to change the due date, uh, which is not necessary, but you can go ahead and clone it. So we're just going to save and clone. Oh, and we do have to give it a different title. So, save and clone. Go back to our grade sheet over on the left side. And now you can see I have a duplicate of that assignment. So now when I enter scoring mode, I should be able to integrate for, for that student. And then I, if I click my two right arrows, I can no count everybody else on the list. And what this does is it ensures that every student gets the same number of total points um, without giving one student unfair advantage over another. Okay. You do have the option of just leaving that, that student's grade a no count for that assignment, and that is okay. So you can see now Sarah's grade, she has a grade for that. Okay. Another op uh, question I get is how do you... How do you take students off your roll once they're not there? Or students that maybe they are in a second semester class and not first semester, but they're, they're still showing up on your roster. So to do that, I'm going to go into the class that Sarah transferred out of. And see, I still see Sarah on my roster. So if I want to take Sarah off that list, what I do is I go over to my settings for that grade sheet. And then on the left side where it says student display, I changed the student display setting from all students to students enrolled as of today. Okay, you can also see there's where I can adjust how they're um, ordered from first to last and last to first. I can do that as well. So I click Save and Back. And then I click on Grade Sheet on the left side. And now you can see that Sarah's no longer on our roll.